Today I'll be reviewing Belong to Me by Marissa De Los Santos, the sequel to Love Walked In, which I did a review about last month. Belong to Me is the continuation of Cornelia Brown's story, and it explores the many different types of human connections. <laughs> finds Cornelia married and moving to the suburbs. It's about four years after Love Walked In, so we get to see Cornelia and Tio as a happy married couple who are trying to have a baby. This novel is actually split up between three different characters. Cornelia, of course, whose chapters are told in first-person point of view. Piper, Cornelia's uptight, well-off neighbor whose chapters are told in third person. And Dev, a 13-year-old genius who has also just moved to the suburbs with his mom, Lake, whose chapters are also told in third person. So there's quite a lot going on here plot -wise. Cornelia is trying to fit into this new white picket fence world while also desperately wanting a baby despite having miscarried in the time between the two books. Piper is dutifully taking care of her sick friend while also balancing trying to be the perfect suburban wife. Dev, having had a pretty rough time back in his old school in California, is thankful for the move which allowed him to go to a school that understands him but he is questioning his mother's motive for taking him across the country on a moment's notice. The characters interact so seamlessly that each chapter isn't telling the story of that person, but the story of the group as a whole. Cornelia and Lake become good friends, only to have Cornelia begin to doubt Lake's motives, as Deb did. Deb meets Claire at Cornelia's and falls completely in love with her. Piper burns herself out trying to take care of her sick friend and her kids and her husband, and she needs Cornelia to help her rebuild her life. And vice versa. The weaving of the different storylines come together in this huge plot twist that just changes all the characters' lives and is so intense that I just needed to put the book down for a second. At the core, this duology is about love. It explores all the different types of love and what they mean more than any other book I've ever read. Deep romantic love, platonic love, first loves, lust, false loves, it has them all. These two books do a great job of demonstrating and really commenting on the different kinds of affection that people feel towards each other. It isn't all about romantic love, and sometimes it even shows that friendship is more powerful than romantic love. Marissa de Los Santos just really understands human nature. She writes it in a very optimistic voice that makes it entertaining instead of depressing. I know reading some books where the author just gets people that I realize how horrible people really are. But these books give me hope in the human spirit. I do, however, think that I prefer Love Walked In to Belong to Me. While Belong to Me is more exciting and covers more ideas, I feel like I can connect to Cornelia more in the first book, where she's trying to figure out what she's going to do with her life, more than in this one, where she's having a baby and married and pretty much has her whole life figured out. I also like the first book better because in this one there were a few typos that took me out of the book. I had to stop and go, wait, is that what she meant? No, no, I, I don't think so. But that is literally my only complaint about this book. <laughs> I gave it a 4.5 but rounded up on Goodreads, so it's basically a 5 star book. Seriously, these two books are the best adult literature I have ever read. I cannot recommend them enough. Well, that is the end of my review. Please tell me if you've read either works by Marissa de Los Santos, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!